Hello, it's Matt here, and welcome to a review of 10254 The Winter Holiday Train, the 2016 Winter Village set costing £75, €90 Euros, or $100 in your local currencies. It comes in six bags, plus a bag of instructions and a loose pack for the locomotive wheels, plus the four stacks of curved track which are just loose in the box. Firstly, I'm going to look at the locomotive. Whilst it's bristling in details, the 4 to configuration is weird and doesn't match the use of the cow catcher in such a modern design with the enclosed cap. A 240 or 440 would look much better here. As a manufactured set, the blind wheel is also included, meaning you could make a complete set of wheels for a 464 just by buying two sets of the set. The wagon and coach that are included are presentable, although like the loco, their four wheel nature seems a little odd. The wagon has a turning uh, mechanism for the Christmas tree that rotates as the train moves, uh, but the present area I find is far too small to be used for, uh, not only in terms of overall size itself, but also in the height and the fact that you can't stack presents that high. Um, several people have complained about the friction in the Christmas tree mechanism, um, so as the train moves it actually slows it, uh, slows it down and then drags as well, um, but I haven't noticed any in mine, although obviously I've not motorised my set. Uh, the coach too is an odd size as you can't even open the saloon doors fully without them overhanging the end of the uh, balcony if you like. Um, which is probably why there's no safety rail which is a concern to say the least. Um, on the plus side the coach does sit both passengers comfortably um, and there's passing room to the one side of the table. Lastly we have the minifigures. Uh, no new prints here, but a nice mix and match, and they do look good, complemented by the use of rare pieces such as the penguin's torso uh, for the mother or grandmother and then from the Batman theme, and then the uh, rarer head on there conducted with that very nice um, facial hair print. So, is the set worth it? I will say yes, but the set itself is very constrained by the inclusion of a complete circle of track, which has meant the actual build included has been drastically reduced. I would have preferred the inclusion of, say, half a circle of track completable by a track pack so that the parts budget that was assigned to that could be used on extra cars or improving the current ones, such as upgrading the coach to a Bergu one and maybe get, putting in a bigger loco, or possibly switching up the uh, tr Christmas tree car from the actual present car and something along those lines. Um, so overall, I'd rate this set a 8 out of 10. A nice set, lots of nice colours. Uh, with a good matching paint scheme but in needs of improvement and you know but the good thing about it is that it has brought a lot of other people into the trains fold by showing them what trains can actually do um, so that's it for this review and I'm Matt and I'll see you in the next video